everybody! And welcome back to the Wapad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I'm joined with uh, one of my lovely co-hosts on this little uh, playlist thing. Uh, we have my good old friend Jolene. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back. Uh, it's, it's good to be back. I, I missed this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little nervous for this one, though. Why are you nervous? Can I be honest with you? I've never read any Kidex Law, except as like a side chip in like other works. Well, they're about to be the main focus now. They've been given the spotlight, and I fear for the the, the catastrophe they could cause. I regret. <laughs> I regret. Just fear. Now, laws that calm, uh, that calm boyfriend, and then kid's gonna be like that reckless hit dude with the uh, anger issues that breaks everything. You're great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think Ooh. what dynamic. I mean, with those two, it's hard to tell. Yeah. But, uh, I'm very excited. I I've read Zotan, I've read Lalu, I've read, uh... That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's just Zosan and Lalu. That's all I fuck, and also a lot of Sanji X readers. But like, we don't gotta get into that. We know he's my he's my boy. <laughs> I definitely yeah. my fucking profile <laughs> picture. You know, I I got clouds, and you have Sanji. Yeah, we are not the same. Smoke it. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold up. It's perfect because the the smoke coming out of the cigarette is now the clouds. Boom. Yeah. That's something. <laughs> Oh, We're on scene. <laughs> Gosh. But, uh, alright, so I found this one. Hopefully it's good. It was the only one I could find that was label complete and also not mature. So we're in for some great content. Uh, this one's just called Lords and Criminals. And the only reason why I know this is a fucking Lolex kid is because of the blatant cover. <laughs> and I, I love it for that. Also, the, the tags make it so obvious. It's just. I cannot actually pronounce his first name. Oh my god. At Alice Kid? Extra Fogger. It's great. I mean, the description looks pretty good. Kid and Killer are thieves in the city of Jezrosa, but Killer has broken some news, leaving Kid to find a new roommate. Damn, I wonder what the news could be that's so drastic that he's gotta- he's gotta kick his friend to the curb. Well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm- Oh, the coin! The coin flip! Oh, flip its coin is! Yeah, I can flip my phone! Let's go! Oh, you're gonna flip it? I mean, yeah, the bed's right next to me, so I'm not gonna chuck it on the floor. <laughs> okay, just, you know, checking in. Do you want to be the, the, the lock screen that has our beautiful law on it, or do you want to be oh the my back God. Of the flowers? I would love to be law. Uh, like, for the purpose of this coin flip, or <laughs> in general? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. For the purpose of this coin flip. Like I'm reading first with flowers. That's that's a Robin reference because of her ability, like the bloom bloom fruit. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that was a stretch. <laughs> All right, <laughs> bravery and the demons. It said I don't know how many fucking chapters are there. Uh, ten. I think. Okay, it's ten chapters and it said an estimate of an hour. So we'll see how fast we are. Yeah, <laughs> speed run, kid. Excellent. <laughs> All right, rain was light, padding, uh, yeah, padding against the cobblestone of Dress Rosa, which has taken over by uh, Don Quotote. Don Don Quixote. Don oh, the shit. <laughs> I watched it in dub too. I should know how to pronounce it. Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Do flamingo. Or how, aka, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Man that has brought out every, brought out everyone in his large smile and acts of kindness to people. 
It hardly rained in Dressrosa, but when it did, people hurried to get undercover as the rain poured down harder. Besides one who stuck out... Who's... Wait. Yeah, he sucked out a cigarette and leaned against an alley. The rain dripped against his hood as his dark amber eyes watched people padded by. Flash in puddles and holding umbrellas above their heads. Couples walked by earning a a grunt, a grunt? Oh yeah, a grunt from the man who grunted down his cigarette. Love us for the weak, he growled. <laughs> you fucking wolf. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm gonna go have flashbacks. <laughs> ABO? ABO fitness? Put that on the wheel. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna deal with my TikTok for you page right now. I don't think I <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing like, oh, fucking god, it's so out. scary. It's, it's like wolf packs. The mafia. Yeah, the mafia. Yeah, the, the classic three tropes I keep getting is alphas, werewolves, and mafia. God damn it! He stepped out his cigarette and walked down the street. His amber eyes flicked, flicking through the people walking, but until he narrowed to a woman holding. Hand of a small child. Is he about to fucking kidnap this kid? Oh my god, please. <gasps> keep going, keep going. Muttered. This was Luda's kid, a, lo a criminal loose on the street, a thief even. He walked past the lady, snatching her bag before bolting. He cried out for someone to help. The kid turned to a few officers who chased after him. Ah, catch me if you can, covers! <laughs> it laughed. He picked up the he picked up the pace, shoving through people or knocking them down. He slipped past the cops when an arm pulled him into the alley. Kid and killer watched as the cops dashed by. They looked at each other before half fighting. I owe you one, killer. Kid chuckled, opening the bag. Yeah, like the time before that, and the time before that. Killer said, "Yeah, yeah, whatever you can." <sighs> he pulled out some cash and some loose jewelry. All right, this is good. I bet we can get some keep for cash from the jewelry and maybe the bag. It grinned. Sure, sure. Then what's? Oh fuck. Sure. Then, then we can head home. They smiled to each other before leaving the alley and blending in with the crowd. Taylor and kids split split up with smirking. With smirk. Wait. Yeah, it's split up with smirk and a glance to each other. Kid crossed the street with the purse stuffed in his sweatshirt. He lit himself another cigarette before heading down the street to the shady, run-down side of the city, the part where Del Flamingo Cave gave less of a care for the people there. The ones who have stood up against him. The ones who fight for justice. Now, this is inaccurate, because if there were people that stood up to him, they would be fucking toys. <laughs> oh, God. Inaccurate to the story. F tier. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just... I don't know. I I fucking don't like the flamingo. I'm sorry. <laughs> Atlas kid, haven't seen your face around here in a while. I'm a smoker. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? My man. I'm kidding. <laughs> I know you're into the dope Jolene, but calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Turned to Smoker, leaning against a wall in the alley. Kid rolled his eyes as Smoker inhaled the rest of his cigars. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's got like fucking three in his mouth at a time. Smoker, <laughs> why the hell are you- what the hell are you doing here? Kid snarled. I'm looking for someone, Smoker said. Big talked and and non-existent brow. Oh, who went missing? Not exactly. He stole something from Del Flamingo. Confidential papers. I know nothing of what of what they are or why this or why this man had stolen them. Can I ask who? Kid asked. Falger Law, Bill Flamingo's favorite son. Kid chuckled. That feather bastard couldn't have oh, wouldn't have kids nor even pick a favorite of the bunch. Boker pulled out put out the buds of his cigars before blowing out the last of his smoke. He tossed them away before stepping on them. If you hear or see anything, you let me know, right? Sure, then we can sit down and braid each other's hair. 
kid shrugged sarcastically. Booker growled back into growled backing into the darkness of the alley. Kid rolled his eyes and walked down the broken cemented path to a small hole in the wall building. He opened the wooden door where inside was a tiny pawn shop. A light blue haired man turned to him. Tattoos of torn wait. Tattoos of torns? I think they meant thorn. Oh, tattoos of thorn. I was like, what the fuck? The a thorn. <laughs> Thorns wrapped around his body. Kid, what can I do for you today? He pulled out the bag and tossed in the counter. He pulling out of the. He pulled out the jewelry and looked at the bag. Three hundred. That's all I can do for you. He he said. Fine. Kid groaned. All right, I'm popcorning it now. <laughs> Oh, okay. You, you sure? I mean, do you want me to read the rest? I was struggling a little bit. I mean, yeah, sure. Okay. He pulled out 15 $20 bills and placed them in an envelope. He handed it off to Kid before he left. Kid stuffed the money in his pocket and headed back to meet Killer. And the run-down, cheap apartment on the outskirts of the city. Kid went inside and checked the mail. Eustace! He sighed as he turned to the owner of the apartment. Thick orange hair, dark brown eyes, and a glare that can even stand that can even stand kids' hair on end. Where's this month's rent, kid? Nami barked. <gasps> Nami! <laughs> Nami! Yes. I love Nami. Yeah. <sighs> Women, I'm getting your money. So zip it. Nami grabbed him by the ear and yanked him down to her level. If you speak to me like that again, I will raise your debt by 10%. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let go. Nami let go before storming to her, down to her office. Kid rubbed his ear, muttering curse words, and headed up to his apartment. He and Kid split the rent evenly, so it'd be easier. But since Killer hasn't returned to the apartment in a while, Kid's been paying it. He unlocked the door and headed inside. Killer already inside, kicking away, while Kid kicked off his shoes. Oh wow, you're home for once, Kid grunted. I've been busy getting money, that's all, Killer said. Bullshit, you've been out seeing someone. I've been paying rent for two months now. I know, I'm making it up to you. Killer pointed to a thick envelope on the table. Kid snatched it and opened it. His jaw slacked at the thousands of dollars in his hand. Damn, Killer, who'd you have to kill, Kid asked. I was hired by one of Doofamingo's accomplices, accomplices to get back a file or something. I don't know what it was. I just had to give back a silver case. It must have been real important to- Kid, I'm leaving. Oh my but god, best he's left! They're besties! They're besties! They're besties! No, the kid! Did this friendship mean nothing to you? Yeah. Roommate. And they were roommates. <laughs> oh my god, they were roommates. Oh my god. Chair set of two, balcony chair with connecting table. Sorry, I'm getting ads on the side. Oh. I, I Would you like me to keep going? Yes. Yeah, if you want to read a little bit, then I'll, I'll take a look. Yeah, yeah, well. Kid snapped over to Killer. He stood over the stove, stirring around the meal he'd prepared for them. What? Kid asked. I'm moving out. Killer sighed. Kid stood confused and let down, uh, and set down the money in approaching him. Killer, did I do something? Look, you know what? Kid, I found someone. That little oh. fire in his stomach. Oh my god. <laughs> Kid was set the pan on a cool burner and grabbed some bowls, putting stew in them. You're leaving your best friend some, for some big pair of Google eyes? <laughs> That's such a funny phrase. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kid barked. Killer sighed. Setting their food on the table. Kid spit and snapped at Killer about the whole falling in love bullshit. You can't be serious. You're leaving me for some woman who will use you? He's gonna make you get a job and settle down and then you're not gonna see me anymore. Who took you up the streets and made a pact that no one would come between us? Killer slammed his hand, his hand on the counter. Startling Kid. Shut up. I'm older than you. It's my life. I can do whatever the hell I want with it. You're wrong, Kid. I haven't fallen for some chick. His name is Penguin. <gasps> And penguin. I'm not expecting penguin. I feel like I gotta look stuff up. I don't know. I'm not this far in the anime. I don't. 
I don't I don't know about this ship. <laughs> I think this is like a ship of like characters that have not met the can. <laughs> oh, like a like a crack ship. Yeah. Mm. I'm tired of you planning out my life, kid. After tonight, I'm gone. We're still best friends, and I'll and I'll visit often. Now shut up and eat your dinner. Kid grunted, sitting down, dining. Kid and Killer didn't say a word after that, just stared down at their food in the uncomfortable silence. Kid wasn't the type of man to apologize, even to his best friend. So, began the late night of them both finishing dinner and heading back to their respective rooms. Kid lied on his back, looking up at the ceiling, his fingers clutching his blanket, angrily glaring up at the ceiling. Stupid killer. Stupid love. There was a soft tapping on the other side of Kid's wall. He looked over to it and tapped back. Hey, Kid grunted. You want to talk about it? On the other side of Kid's wall resided a couple... A couple Kid hated and liked. They were noisy and out with... Out there with their lewd doings during the night. Also, didn't help the walls were paper thin, until Kid confronted them and Sanji apologized with a meal. Oh? Oh my god! Okay, wait, Killer's leaving me because he has a boyfriend. Kid sighed. I know, I heard. Z Zoro and I heard the whole thing. <laughs> I like how you're like, ugh! The inaccuracies, and you're like, so Sanji! <laughs> Uh, Kid only expressed his feelings behind closed doors, late at night when he doesn't know what he's talking about. And when Sanji is sitting on the other side of the wall in their bedroom to Kid, Sanji has a way to get things out of him like he couldn't with anyone before. Or maybe it's because he wants his cooking again. I mean, you can get a roommate. That's what I did, Sanji said. Roommate? Kid asked. Just come over tomorrow. I'll explain everything. Just get some rest and keep your mind off, killer. It sounds like a breakup. What? Wait, what? The, the, the kid and... No, 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 no. Killer. Killer and kid. <laughs> like, okay. I feel like they're breaking... More like breaking up than like, you know, just... Hey, I can't live with you no more. You know? Yeah. Honestly, it does sound like that when he's like, I found, some I found someone. I'm moving out. Later, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I love me to take a sip. They were roommates. Maybe they were like a friends with benefits kind of thing, you know? <clears throat> oh my gosh. And then like, like Kid was Candle catching it. feeling, and then like, he was like, I'm gonna go now, I got my own life to live, and then Kid's all upset, but it doesn't matter because he's gonna get law right now, so... Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> Do you want <laughs> me to start reading? Uh, sure. Alrighty. Yeah. Four minutes remaining, let's go. <laughs> Kid listened as Sanji got up and left. He sighed, tossing over to it on the side and finally falling asleep. Once the sun had awakened Kid from his slumber, he groaned sitting up and getting ready for the day. Biking out his hair before tying a bandana around his head and dressing himself in... In what? In... Darks? Okay. Yeah. There was a knock at the door, earning its attention. Kid grumbled, getting up and going to the door. He opened the door to find Sanji sitting there with a the Tupperware. You miss breakfast? Sanji said. Kid stepped the side, letting the cook in. He looked around the apartment inside, seeing the dents in the walls and holes in the doors. He pinched the bridge of his nose. Well, come on. We better get this place... Oh, wait. We better go find a place to, to help make flyers, Sanji groaned. For what? Kid asked. Your new roommate? Kid groaned. Yeah, whatever. I feel like you need to fix the, the holes in, in the wall. <laughs> Sanji and Kid headed down to the city, to an old copying house, a copying store. They were about to head inside, but... Hold it. Kid groaned. But after... This time, he finally got caught. They both turned to Zoro, tilting up his hat. Is wait a minute. <laughs> Zoro got <laughs> Zoro. Zoro worked under Del Flamingo. Keep the city safe. Oh my god, he is. What can he say? A job's a job, but he wasn't very good at it. 
You got a warrant for that? For what? Sanji grumbled. <laughs> we... <laughs> oh, God. I love Zo Zosan so much. <laughs> Sanji groaned. Are you serious? Zoro chuckled. What are you two up to? Oh, killer moving out. So I'm helping Kid make some flowers to put around for a new roommate. Well, a few places I, I would put is the bar. There's a guy lurking around there looking for a roommate. Can't tell you his name though. Sure, we can do that. Thanks for the help, Kid. Kid said. Zora opened the door, letting them in. But but smack Sanji on the ass as he entered. He sat his head over the Zoro, pursing his lips and growling. See you later, babe. Don't cause too much trouble. He rolled his eyes as he sat on the computer, filling out information of the of the apartment. He had sat, sat beside Sanji, watching him type away. He's known Sanji for so long, but I never knew what he did. Kid thought he was a chef since he cooked all the so much, but he never seemed to leave the apartment unless he had to. What is it? What is it you do again? Kid asked. Sanji's blue eyes flicked to him before back to the computer. What is it you do? Oh, what is it you do? Touche. He finished up the fire before printing out a few copies. They took a they each took a stack before handing out. I'll head to the, to the city, and you go to the bars and stuff. Sanji said. Kid shrugged before heading down the street. Sanji walking across the street. While Kid walked down the street, pinning up the, the posters in, on poles or on buildings. Once he got to the bar, he pinned up one of his flyers on the corpor and set the way. He figured he could use a drink, so he, so he did. He sat down, folding up the rest of the flyers and sitting at the bar. Scotch! Uh, Kid said. The barkeeper poured the drink and placed it before Kid. The door opened as a lean figure walked in. Oh my god, is he slender with tattoos and a white hat? With a- with a bear? Oh. <laughs> with a bear. Yeah. Like how, you gotta have the bear. Yeah. Not- not Beppo, just a normal ass bear. <laughs> a big ass bear. Yeah. Kid turned and watched the man pick up the flyer. He smirked as the man pulled off his hood and read it over. Kid became fixated on the dark-haired man with golden earrings and a goatee. <gasps> oh my... <laughs> his dark eyes flicked up to Kid having a red head turned away. Oh, uh, yeah, having the red head turned away. He's here again, the man next to Kid muttered. The man shrugged off his coat and hung it up before folding up the flyer and putting it in his pocket. Are you Atlas Kid? The man asked. Kid turned into the lean man. He bit his tongue back, admiring him. Dark tattoos. Now his gray v-neck t-shirt and skinny jeans fit so well to his figure. Art a tulip pen? The man waved his hand. Kid growled at that nickname. Yeah, I'm Kid, and don't call me Tulip Head. The man crossed his arms, cocking a brow. He smirked, knowing he touched the nerve. I like to take you up on the offer on the apartment. Y you do? Yeah. I don't need to check out the place. I'll be moving in immediately. Bam. I guess he's desperate for a place. Gosh. Kid finished his drink before handing the man the cash before leaving. The man followed with him. They stood on the street with Kid realizing something. What's your name? Trafalgar D. L Water. But my friend just called me L- mm. <laughs> Sorry. I, I was not expecting full name. <laughs> but my friend's Yummy. called me Law. But if it- Wait. Uh, but my friend's called me Law. That <laughs> is, if I have any- <laughs> What a loser! You can't tell people you have no friends. Yeah, what about Beppo in Penguin, in Sachi, and that one girl I can't the name of? Yeah, Penguin, he's part of the crew. No, I know, but like we had Penguin earlier with the yeah. uh, killer. I guess uh, this dynamic is nothing. Damn it. Where's Beppo? Is he still in a cage? Oh, stop that! Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it blinked. 
The name seems so familiar, but he couldn't place his finger on it. So, La, what do you do? Law's eyes narrowed a kid. Why would you want to know? Ah, secret business. I get it. Tell me, how do you feel about Doflamingo? Doflamingo? The lunatic! A man's obsessed with power. Kid watched as Law's eyes lit up a moment before he shrugged on his, shrugged on his coat. Follow me to my car. I'll show you the way, Law, Law said. Oh, you can show me the way. I can't fucking read. <laughs> it's okay, so you'll make it. There's cars in this universe? I thought this was gonna be like... I don't know. A horse and buggy? Yeah, horse and buggy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> horse and buggy. Ah, ha, ah, fuck it. He followed Law to a car that looked brand new. How is he... He has enough money to buy a brand new car, but he can't buy his own house. Alright. <laughs> He grinned, walking up to the car and checking it out. Law stood on the sidewalk, watching Kid check out his car. He looked like a, t a child seeing a toy. Haven't you seen a car before? Law asked. I have. I just really like mechanic stuff. Kid said. Oh, good. Then start my car. I can't get it to start, so I stayed here the last night. Law tossed him the keys. Kid smirked and opened the hood of the car. Law stood beside him, watching his amber eyes look over the car. Here, go try starting it. He handed back the keys to Law. As Law went to the car, his, his dog poked up his head from the back seat. He barked, earning Law's attention. <gasps> what happened to him? Why is he a dog? <laughs> oh, hey, Bethel. Hey, Bethel. It's been... Found a place for us to stay, Law said. He stuck the key in the slot and tried to start the car, but the car didn't turn over. Try it again, Kid called. Law sighed, turning the key, and it started right up. Kid slammed shut the lid and brushed off his hands. He climbed into the seat next to Law, who seemed impressed resting on the who seemed who seemed impressed resting on the wheel of his car. So, what was the problem? Kid rummaged through his pocket, pulling out a small bottle. His eyes widened at the bottle. This was stuck under the belt. I'm surprised it's still intact, Kid said. Law snatched the bottle and put it in his pocket. Now, show me where our new home is, Law said. What's in the bottle? Is it like a, is it like a message? One? Yeah, like I was just saying a message in a bottle, like where you see, like, washed up on the shore. Mm hmm. But why would you put it in the belt of someone's car if you needed them to see it? You would usually, like, I don't know, attach well, it to, like, a brick and throw it through their window. <laughs> well, they'd have to, like, you know, oh no, what's the reason for my car not starting? Maybe it's, like, secret. Secretive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you're right. I guess throwing a brick through someone's car window is a lot more... <laughs> somewhere yeah. out there. <laughs> Alright. Silver suitcase. You Kid directed. Oh, oh. Yeah, you're fine. Kid directed Law to the apartment, and they parked across the street. Beppo hopped out of the car and stretched. Law grabbed his backpack and popped the trunk uh, to a little to a devil bag. He grabbed it, and they headed inside, where they were met by Nami. Eustace, Nami grumbled. Kid groaned, pulling out an envelope and ha handing it to her. There, now don't bug me. Nami snatched the envelope, opening it and counting the money. Her eyes perked up to Beppo, sitting next to Law. Her eye, uh, her, her, her eyes glanced up to him. Killer just left. I'm assuming he moved out and he's your new roommate. Nami said, "Whatever. Can I go?" Nami glared at him. Was that a tone? Kid swallowed. No, ma'am. Good. Now you could go. Hello, Nami, girl boss. <laughs> yeah, it's like gatekeep girl boss Nami right now. I love her. Anyway, kid, kid rolled his eyes as they headed up to his apartment. Sanji was just heading into his apartment when he perked up to Kid. Oh, you already found someone? Sanji asked. Kid smirked. Yeah, thanks for the help. Sanji smiled and then glanced to Law and his smile faded. Bakya, good to see you again, Law said. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Law, Sanji said. By the way, it's Romano now. 
Sanji headed inside, and Kid cocked a confused eyebrow and turned to Law, staring at Sanji's door. Am I missing something? Kid asked. I'll explain later. Oh, they're married! Let's go! <laughs> Woo! They're married! Yeah, drop it's that probably fucking the Vin Smoke the... name. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Vin Smoke. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Kid and Law headed inside. Beppo trotted in, sniffing around, sniffing the couch, and heading to Killer's old room. Law took the liberty to look around the apartment. Kid started to heat up the breakfast Sanji made for him. Did you want some? Kid asked. I'm fine, Law said. He put his double bag on the counter and unzipped it. Kid turned to Law, pulling out a silver suitcase. He opened it and put a red empty file in it. Law snapped it shut, locking the case. So, uh, what's that for? I'm going to expose Duflamingo. He's done something unforgiv unforgivable to me, and I'll make sure he goes down for it, Law said. And how do you know I won't tell? Ooh. Law turned to him. Because I trust you. For why? This man- you just met this man maybe 20 minutes ago. Anyway, Law. Yeah, he already asked his political stance on Doflamingo, and he was like, Man, I fucking hate that guy. And then Law was like, Undercover I think I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> uh, kid blushed lightly before turning away. He pulled out his now lunch out of the microwave and sat at the bar. Law pulled off his shirt. Kid's eyes widened to Law's stained skin with hearts of hearts and a Jolly Roger on his back. His fork dropped to the table, earning Law's attention. He smirked before folding his shirt, pulling out a v black v-neck and pulling it on. And then a long coat with corazón on the back. He he. Oh gosh, I can't read anymore. <laughs> My brain. He pulled. <laughs> He pulled out his white spotted build hat and put it on. You going somewhere? Kid asked. La picked up the suitcase. I am, but I will be back. So don't worry, you're a pretty little tulip head. Kid growled as La opened the window and sat, and sat in the window to leave when he turned back to Kid. Can you pick locks? Kid asked. Best in the world, Kid smirked. La smirked before climbing down the fire escape. Kid got up and watched Law walk down the street. Bebo joined him, standing on his hind legs and watching Law. Kid patted his head as he closed the window. Once it got dark, Kid pulled on his coat and his boots. Bebo poked his head out of now Law's room before he trotted over to Kid and sat before him. What? Kid grunted. Bebo whined as Kid groaned. Poor guy was hungry. Kid went over to Law's double bag and pulled out the dog food in a bowl. Bebo kept barking and jumping around all excited. Kid chuckled, pouring food into the dish and set it, setting it on the ground. Bebo chowed down as Kid grabbed his keys and opened the door. A lean figure dressed in black walked by and down the stairs. Kid cocked a brow after following him. They both parted ways. Kid stopped and turned to the figure walking down the street, then brushed it off and headed on, headed on his way to the next target. He pulled out his phone and pulled on his hood. Kid called Killer, asking where to meet up. The alley. Ten minutes, Killer said. Don't be late, Kid grunted. They both chuckled before hanging up. Kid picked up the pace heading to the city. Killer was already there wearing his helmet and leaning up against the brick wall of the alley. You're late, Killer said. Kid glared at him. We need 500 bucks. What for? I already left more than enough. Kid smirked. For fun, of course. Killer chuckled as they headed, headed their opposite ways. Kid climbed up on the building overlooking the city. His amber eyes flicked to each person walking past, but his eyes narrowed to the figure he met earlier. He was bumping into... Only... He was bumping into only men. He chuckled, knowing that he what he was doing. Pit-pocketing. Kid's eyes narrowed on a woman who looked like she bathed in her own money. Kid smirked, climbing down and followed pulled after her, and once they got to a crosswalk, he snatched a bag and headed across the street. Everyone help me! Help! <laughs> she cried. Kid dodged the cars and bowed onto the other side of the street. Thanks, lady, he called. So Kid took off down the street. Cops started to follow him and chase him down. He looked over his old shoulder to find a small group of cops chasing and spitting curse words at him. 
He, he turned only to butt heads with someone. He groaned as they both pulled back. They looked at each other and their eyes widened. Eustace? Law? Kid got up, grabbing the bag in Law's hand. Come on, we gotta go. There he is! The cops cried. Shit, they're after me, they both said. They looked at each other before bolting off. Killer witnessed the scene and smirked under his helmet. Would you look at that? Kid's making friends. Killer smirked, sitting, <laughs> sitting up on a building. Kid pulled Law into the alley, holding him close and putting a hand over his mouth. He watched as the cops dashed by and down the street. He panted and turned to Law. He stiffened before pushing Law off. Law chuckled, adjusting his hat. You're quite grabby. Law chuckled. Kid blushed as he noticed a silver suitcase cuffed to his wrist. So, you're a thief too, he said. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Oh my god, him and his almost boyfriend are criminals. Yeah. Oh, I was about to say that reminds me of some partners in crime. The fucking next chapter is called Partners in Crime. <laughs> so goddamn smart. I'm just, I'm five steps above myself. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Lost smirked as they rested, they rested back in the alley. It explains the story of how he and Killer would steal to just get by by pay rent and eat. Killer. Kid grown, grown face palming. La Perch's lips, that name, it sounded familiar. They turned to Killer, jumping down from the building. Hey, Killer. Kid said, Law's eyes wide and clenching the suitcase. You, you're the one who took this from me in the first place. I'm not giving it. Relax, I'm not hired to steal it again. Killer said. Law held it close, glaring up at him. I'm not going to hurt you. Your pain was- oh, YES! It is a relationship- Oh, a friendship. <laughs> Your pain was best friend, Killer said. Law's grip on the case loosened. Penguin. Oh. I get it now. Wait, you two know each other? Kid asked. They nodded. Scroll. <laughs> Killer is the one who took my case the first time. And I should have connected the dots earlier. A friend of mine, Penguin, has been talking about his boyfriend, Killer, moving in. I didn't expect it to be you. Law said, turning to him. Now, I don't have to worry about Kid getting by without my help, but I see you two can handle yourselves. Hey, I can take care of my- Kid, adults are talking. <laughs> he grumbled, crossing his arms. Killer and Law started to get along well. Well. Kids went through the purse, pulling out cash, smirking out the large diamond ring. Jackpot. Kids smirked. Law and Killer turned to him. Uh, Law scooted over to him and plucked the ring from his fingers, his eyes widened looking at the bright pink ring. Ooh, do we rob like a influencer? <laughs> do you know who you just robbed? Law gasped. Kid shrugged. Pretty much Doflamingo himself. Kid proud, snatching up the ring. Ow, it's just a ring. Not just that. It's the same ring that's been passed down from each of his wives. You have to get rid of- we- what? <laughs> I don't know how to say this right. <laughs> Man was bold enough to get married and give their wives a fucking dime- a, yeah. My brain you you got. I didn't expect Good. him to find a wife that liked him. <laughs> <That's awful. laughs> oh gosh. Money. Yeah, money. Money. Money, money, money. Must money. be funny. Yeah. In a rich man's world. Yeah, I guess you're right. How do you know that? <laughs> Love, where did I contact? Get rid of it. I'll meet you at home. You got up, leaving the alley. Kid sighed, resting back against the wall. Killer smirked through his helmet. You like him? <laughs> Kid glared at him. I'm a stupid. I'm not partaking in it. Killer kneeled down to him. Look, kid, you can deny it all you want, but I will always know the truth. <laughs> he pushed Killer away before getting up. Kid left, going to meet Pete, but his mind was clouded over what Killer said. He lit himself a cigarette before 
groaning, uh, growling at the thought of being in love. Love was for the weak, and he wasn't weak. He have heading to see heat. He perked up and saw it, kid. Get in. Get in. I mean, he just like knows a, a thief. He, I'm so. This guy's pretty loyal to not turn this guy in, but if I guess he's pulling in private, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. He tossed the bag on the counter and as he inspected it. He reached in and pulled out the ring. He put the ring to the light before setting it down on the counter. Thirteen thousand. He he said. Kid lit up. Done deal. He handed in the money in an envelope. Kid grinned and put it in his pocket. You know. There's another guy coming in here recently, training watches, wallets, and wedding rings. It's strange. Don't worry about it, Heat. Probably just a new worker for you, Kid said. It's not the strange thing. He's only selling me male belongings. What, like, fucking Old Spice? <laughs> <laughs> old Spice what? And, like, gel. Like a three-in-one shampoo, conditioner, and, like, no! <laughs> Oh my god. You ever see those images of like a seven in one where it's like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, toothpaste, uh, motor oil? <laughs> <laughs> the kid perked up at that. Male belongings? He nodded. I mean, I'm not supposed to say or do anything but take him at no question, but I find this odd. Alright, I'll link into it. Thanks, Heat. Kid left without another word. He headed down the street as it started to rain. Damn it. Again? He groaned. How would you even find this person if he only knows he steals from men and takes their belongings? Uh, you need a description at least to be like, I can find this guy and see what the fuck his deal is. Just saying. <laughs> Picked up the pace, getting back home, where Law was sitting on the table trying to unlock the cuffs of his wrist. He perked up the kid. So he perked up to Kid, then turned back to the cop. Beppo sat his head on his knee, watching him. I like to think that Beppo isn't a dog. They just, like, took his normal Beppo form, just put him on all fours, and just told him, like, to just act like a dog so no one would suspect that he's actually a polar bear. That'd be so funny. That'd be a big-ass dog. <laughs> You're like, and this is my, my dog, Beppo, and then they, like, and he just goes, woof. <laughs> He's just trying his best to act like a dog. <laughs> like an animal. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> Are you saying that without any laughing? It only gets me. <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Here, let me help. Kid side. Law perked up to Kid and took off his coat and kicked off his shoes before approaching him. He took, he took place between Law's knees and put it and, and pulled out his black pick from his pocket. He's wait a minute, he's in between his knees right now. Anyway. <laughs> kid, kid pulled out the smallest picks before lock, locking them into the cuffs with a bit of Twisting around, the cuffs broke free and lost smirk. Well, damn. You have to teach me how to do that sometime. Lost smirked. Again. <laughs> Kid smirked back. Sure, but I'll teach you only once. While well, I handed him the case. Then show me. Kid smirked wide as he sent the case between lost thighs and pulled out a few picks. I'll watch this kid. One. Yeah. Lashed them in place and pulled out, a, pulled a third out. He placed it in between them and snapped. The case opened. I pulled it, looked up at him with utter disbelief and amazement. His eyes widened at this look. Never in his years has he had someone look at him, at him. Wait, look at him, look at him like this. <laughs> Thank you, Mom muttered. Kid blushed. Step back as Law turned to the case and opened it. He grinned, pulling out the classified file. Law pulled up the kid and gave him a genuine smile. Which really means a lot to me. I hope you know that, Law said. What is it exactly? Law's smile turned to a smirk as he held out the file to the kid. Read it. Once you do, Dovamingo will be after you next, Law said. 
his stash at the folder. Wow, he didn't even think about it. He's like, what? Anyway, I guess I'll read this. <laughs> he stashed the folder and opened it. Inside were all the crimes El Flamingo had committed and a murder case. Kid looked up at Law. Why are you doing this? Kid asked. That man that was the man that was murdered. That was my father. Uh Dun <laughs> Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Rosine Rosin Rosinante. Rosinante. Or as I call him, Horizon. He took me in when no one else did. He raised me until I was thirteen. Then in cold blood, Dolphamingo murdered him and pointed the finger at an assassin. But I knew it was him. And so I was raised under Dolphamingo until I turned 16 and ran away. It dropped the folder. Dolphamingo's favorite son. <gasps> He's finally put two and two together! <laughs> My gosh! He's not dumb, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> He's not dumb, let's go. Yeah! <laughs> the bare minimum has been achieved. Oh my god. My jaw. Hold up, let me take a sip. But, 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 picture, like, take your jaw up off the floor, or did you No, break it? my jaw hurts. Oh, like, did you, I'm trying to think of the right words, like, lock it? It just clicked. Okay. I was wondering if you got locked jaw. Oh gosh, that'd be terrible. Dude, that shit sucks. Bob rubbed his wrist and turned to Kid. Trafalgar Law. One of the small handful of Duflamingo's so-called children. Smoker was looking for him, and now, he sat here before him, looking at him confused. Anyway, this calls for a drink. Law chimed. Law picked up the folder and put it back in the suitcase. Kid perked up to Law, snapping shut the case and putting it in his room. Where he came back with a bottle of liquor. Kid smirked at the, fami to the familiar bottle. Care for a drink? Ooh. Care for a drink, he used to see Law. Law. That's it. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just couldn't read. Last. Kid smirked. Can't say no to a drink. So they gathered in the living room, sitting side by side. A glass in there, and the glass in their hands, slowly drinking down the intoxicating beverage. Let's play a game, La said. Kid turned to him. What are you, five? A drinking game. <laughs> Kid rolled his eyes. He had nothing better to do anyway. Have you heard of Never Have I Ever? Oh my Last. god, what are we in fucking middle school? <laughs> anyway. Probably in my <laughs> probably in my rebel teenage phase, but most of it's blacked out. Kid side. So explain it. Simple. We ask each other never have I ever questions, and if you've done it, then you drink. Get it? I think so. Lost side resting back on the couch and thinking of a question. He glanced over to Kid and smirked. Never have I ever killed anyone, Law said. Kid chuckled, swirling his drink. I don't think so. He hummed and thought of thinking of a question. <laughs> oh god. Uh, never have I ever had sex. Law drank. Kid cocked a non-existing non brow. With who? Your neighbor. Kid's jaw <laughs> almost hit the floor. Law poured himself in their glass. Sanji, but he... It was a long time ago. We both agreed on it. Fuck buddies. Of course it was fun and all, but he wanted something more and I simply couldn't provide that and I left. But now I see he's a good hand. They sat in silence, looking at their glasses. Never have I ever robbed a house. Kid drank. Was well, stealing something back they stole from me. Bla chuckled, earning Kid's attention with a small, sm with a small smile. Never have I ever blackmailed someone. Kid and Law both drank, both growing intoxicated until the bottle was empty, and they both were mostly drunk. Kid's hiccups made Law chuckle. All right, I got one for you. Shoot. Never have I ever kissed someone of the same sex. Law turned to him and smirked. Would you like to? Kid's eyes widened as Law finished off the glass. Law set his glass down and turned to Kid. Climbing into his lap and moving the glass. Oh, oh. Just before kissing. I'm sorry. I was like, whoa, we're going way too fast. We're 
Mars to consent. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Understandable. Okay. Hold up. He cupped Kid's cheeks before kissing him. Kid's heart skipped a beat as his hands trembled to Law's hips. His walls that shut others out, that shut Love out, was knocked down. Law pulled him, pulled back, running his thumb across the bottom of Kid's lip. He noticed a smudge of Kid's lipstick and wiped his lips. You're kind of cute when you're stunned, Law smirked. Kid gulped, reaching up to Law's face and pulled him down for another kiss. It was drunk and sloppy, and but they melted into it, passion, and then lust. Law pulled back, leaving them both breathless. Kid looked up at Law as his hands traveled down to his hips. <laughs> Hold up, I was not prepared. Not I thought you said this was not labeled mature. Uh, do I have to double check this? Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I gotta psychologically recover. I'm scared. You so it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> we'll make it through. <laughs> Give me a minute, maybe I won't. I need a hug. Can I touch you, kid breathe? <laughs> a hug. Jesus. Well pulled off his shirt and kid's eyes flicked after the tattoos. His maroon na nails brushed over his abs and tattoos. He noticed the small scars littered across his skin and wrapped his arms around Law's hips, pulling him closer. His lips kissed his skin, leaving maroon smudges across his across it. Law hummed, tilting Kid's head up and smirked. I don't like gentle, Law smirked. Kid returned the gesture, tossing Law onto the floor and luring over him. He pulled a toothy grin before biting down at biting down on Law's skin. His nails dug into into it, leaving small crescents. Kid growled, backing off. Law sat up on his elbows. What's wrong? I know it's your first time. I could help you, Law said. It's not time for this. We're both drunk. I'd rather remember this. Sentimental, are you? Shut up. Then, then kiss me more. Kid grinned, leading down to kiss Law again. Arms wrapped around each other, pretty much eating each other. Kid's hands ran to Law's thighs and pulled his knees up to his hip. Kid pulled back, kissing down Law's jawline to his neck, leaving purple marks and bruises along his skin. I'm sorry, leaving purple marks and bites along his skin. His hand traveled down Law's thigh into his ass, and <laughs> giving it a firm squeeze. Law hummed. <laughs> Law hummed to the, into this, clutching onto Kid's shirt. The door swung open as Law and Kid perked up to Killer and Penguin in the doorway. Killer's jaw dropped, along with his helmet and his keys while Penguin's eyes almost fell out of his head. Killer? Kid cried. Kid? Killer gasped. Penguin? I mean, Penguin. <laughs> Law groaned. Law! Penguin stuttered. Beppo barked, earning everyone's attention. What the fuck? How did they burst? Did they just break down the door? Did Killer still have keys? I think he still had keys, man. I guess. He didn't return the keys? Weirdo. Yeah, where did why didn't he knock? <laughs> oh my god, they're horrors! Yeah. Exhibitionists! These are horrors right here, holy shit! I need a- I need an adult. I need help! I need... The <laughs> counseling! Counseling! <laughs> not counseling! But, uh... What'd you think? Did you love it? I, you know, it's- it's... I would keep reading. No, I would too. This is pretty good so far. Oh, no, I feel like changing after I do this. I feel like changing my status to I need an adult. <laughs> do it. You won't. Hold on. Hold on. Can I do it on here? <laughs> oh, I can't do status change. Oh, set oh wait. It's gonna. Hold on. Let me pause real quick so I can do it. I did need a hug, man. Brief Bro, I was... hug. I'll send it over. When wow. I saw all that, I was like, wait a minute, I made sure this was listed, uh, just complete. There was no mature tag, and then I was like, well, shit. Sometimes, sometimes they don't, don't tag it, you know? Yeah, sometimes they don't give a shit. They're like, surprise, here's a dick. Surprise, they're boning. Yeah, and I was like, is that, is that gonna happen? 
What? I needed a tilt. <laughs> Crying Squirtle, let's go. It was scary. It was a lot of oh. Are we stopping there after yeah. that experience? I mean, we're at the halfway mark, man, so next time we'll fucking chug all the way through this shit. Or, wait, I thought we would spin the reel. Oh, okay, yeah, well. That's what I meant. Next time we have to read Oh, this. yeah, yeah. Obviously, the wheel system. We gotta keep the going wheel. with the wheel. Oh my god, I missed that wheel. Wheel time. Wheel time. Wheel, wheel time. Wheel time. Wheel time. Wheel. Wheel. The wheel. The wheel. The wheel. The Shanks and Mihawk. There's Waluigi as them. There's Zosan on here. There's oh my Waluigi. god, I forget Waluigi's them. It wasn't that the first one we ever read together? Yep. It was, uh, oh, well, wow. the first one Good was time. technically the law one, and then we expanded to Waluigi. Oh, yeah, 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 we did, we did. Their second book. I'm uh. ready for this. Are you ready? Yes. I don't think you are, man. Neither am I. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. What is this? Oh, the stop one. <laughs> it's where we have an amnesia. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, you didn't sound excited about that. <laughs> did you, I, I don't you, like do I, I don't like amnesia things. Well I'm sorry to tell you this. Wait. I know. I know. <laughs> the only I, game stop X reader that was available on Wapet.com. Okay. Where you can find <laughs> all this fan fiction that we've read so <laughs> God. Oh jeez. Are you good? Yeah, I'm I, I, I'm not... Are you, you're still recovering? I'm like, I'm reflecting on my reflection, asking myself the question. What's the question? What's the, the right direction to go? <laughs> I don't... Are you a man? Or are you a Muppet? I feel like a Muppet right now. My fucking age hundred ass feels like a fucking Muppet. <laughs> Oh god. Well, I'm excited for more Usopp content. I love Usopp. Yes. I'm gonna so. stare at some Usopp fan fit. I mean, fan art. Yeah, I'm gonna like go into your room one of these days and you're gonna have like a little Usopp shrine. You'd be like... Bro, I used... Ah, no. My streamer. Your what? <laughs> I had- I was playing with a piece of streamer because I can't oh. sit still. Gotcha. And it like old. It was. Oh, I almost fucking turned off my computer. Oops. Oh god. Uh, it was like that old ass it... TikTok audio. It was like, stay in the box. Stay in the box. Get out of my skin. Or get out of my head. It was. It was like me trying to stop myself from doing something stupid or saying something dumb and all that jazz. They'd be repeating my middle school mistake. I did have a shrine at some point. Oh god, it's happening again. History is repeating itself. <laughs> the history book on the show. Yeah, it was... I love Abba. I had a L shrine. Uh, in oh, I remember that. Yeah, and now I have a son. She wants I have all those figures now. Which, thank you for three of them, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh. You should have seen me struggle with one of them. I, it would not, like, click with the accessory, so I was like, get fucking fine! No, I feel that! Because I was putting together the Shanks one, and I was so frustrated, like, I was melting the figure, like, to get it to get together. Right? That wasn't the problem. The problem was when I put the sword in, and then I snapped it. Oh. You broke Luckily, the sword? It snapped it. Luckily, it snapped at the hilt, you know? So, like, it's not noticeable. I'm gonna, like, inspect the, the thing with you. I see it. I'm like, no. Hmm. Huh. What's the retail value? Two pennies. Not like I could ever sell it. It's Shane. Yeah. And I love it. I'll, I'll, I'll never sell any of my Sanji figures. It's Sanji, man. God. Sanji. Anyway, this book was amazing. Uh, I'll have it linked down below in the description. That way you guys can read it, check out the author. I kind of do like their writing style when uh, it's a little different than what I'm used to, but I do appreciate it. 
and whatnot. I like the story. It's pretty good so far. I'm, I can't wait to see where it ends. Where it goes. Bubba Booey, who knows? <laughs> Bubba Booey. Bubba Booey. That's all I have. Also, to check in for, uh, I guess, Usopp with uh, Jolie in the future. Tomorrow. I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah, gonna make it. <laughs> nah, not tomorrow. I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna joke, I was like, it's tune in to what? To first to read Usopp fanfiction, aka Heisen's favorite character. He fucking hates Usopp. I'm gonna beat up Heisen. I, well, if, if he agrees to the tea party, you absolutely can. I'm gonna beat up Heisen. That's gonna be the first thing I ask. Wait, what are you gonna ask first? Why he doesn't like Usopp, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a punch. Do you think I could beat him? I don't- I don't know. I feel like I can be decked easily. <laughs> huh? I, I, well, I feel like I'm going to lose any fight and whatnot, but I feel like you could take a chance. You're, you're sure. You could, like, duck easier. You can get more of, like, a stomach punch. <laughs> That's fucking disrespectful, but okay. <laughs> I think Do you think I could beat Heisen, yes or no? You know what? Like, we? No, me. Like, oh. eating, I could beat a Pison. I feel like it's a 50 One on one. 50 50? I can't believe you have so little faith in me. Actually, I gotta you know train. I had to remember what he looked like because I cannot remember. He's pretty fucking. He's a skinny <laughs> white boy. I don't think he'll. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I could snap him like a twig. Yeah. Easy. Dude, you can pick me up and just whack me. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pick you up and use you as a bat. Yeah. I'll say it'd be like that. Oh wait, you're not there yet. It'd be like that scene in uh, Annie's lobby where like we thought becomes a sword for Zoro because they got handcuffed together. They like, oh my god! <laughs> I'll be that stiff. I'll be that weapon. I appreciate it. Know, let's go. All right. Well, thank you for joining me, Jolene. I appreciate it, man. It's very fun. It's yeah. always great to be here. Yeah. But uh. But Check out the, the the playlist for all the other Wattpad books. We're almost at like 100 books read. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna have like a celebration for that? Maybe. I gotta see who falls in line for the 100th, but... Oh, me! <laughs> change it! Change the schedule! <laughs> I haven't even seen! <laughs> but, uh... But anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Joey. And I'll see you guys next yes, time. Bye! <laughs> bye!